Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Wizarding Trunk unboxing for you. I am feeling this as we are basically about to have the storm is happening over here. So if I don't do this now, I won't be able to do it <laughs> for a while. Um, it's already been forever since I filmed a video again. Um, and hopefully the power doesn't turn out or turn off while I am filming. So, <laughs> I must. you're on top of the box. So you can have to get up, mama. So let's hurry up and get into this so I can hopefully pass the time. Uh, the storm is just starting, so it's not that bad. So this month, well, actually last month's theme, um, this is the bi-monthly box, um, is themed after the castle. Um, I like that it says it right here, the castle, so I don't, you know, forgot, I didn't forget what the theme was. It tells me. I wish that was more often so I don't have to guess all the time because sometimes I can't remember the themes. But let's look at our box. It's This is the smallest wizarding trunk box I think I have ever gotten. But yeah, let's take a look at our box. It looks like it was wrapped in brown paper with a bunch of um, stamps on it, a wax seal, and then some string. So very pretty box as well with all the stamps. So with that, let's go ahead and open it up. <laughs> So, first look, I like the inside. Oh, I kind of cut cut it a little bit, trying to slice it open. But look at the inside flap. This is the wizarding trunk. I think that's really pretty. Here we go. First look, and message from the Owlery is on top. Oh, and just slid down the side. Let's see, so we got this was on top. Message from the Owlery, let's see what it says. Hello, witches, wizards, and magical friends. We are using a vanishing spell on our paper spoiler cards inside of our boxes to cut down on waste. With the aim of reducing our environmental footprint by eliminating the most commonly discarded item, we are taking steps towards a more eco-friendly approach. We have moved the spoiler to a digital format, but we'll also offer a downloadable version as well if you would like to print a physical copy. Doing this will save paper and also provide a convenient and l easily accessible alternative for our subscribers. Moving forward, you will find a QR code inside your box, which you can scan to access the digital spoiler. Interesting. Um, <laughs> um, I think that's a good idea. Waste of paper, because I do. I throw them all away. There's only one that I kept, and that's the one where I was um, the editor's choice and that's the only one I kept which I think having the option to print it out is good because then you can still have your you know your paper or copy although it's not original which I think that's a little sad for the ones who end up being the editor's choice but I think it is a very like conscious decision um also with filming these videos reading <laughs> out my spoiler sheet at the end of my video like I always do uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because I'm not going to have just a sheet and just do it right away. I'm going to have to end my video, scan the code, and then read it separately for this video, which I guess is fine. Um, just an extra step for me. And um, might look better on the camera, actually, because I film with my phone. So I'm going to need my phone to scan the QR code <laughs> unless I use some unless I use someone else's phone, but I don't have someone else's phone at the moment. So, um, yeah, so just a little bit of a hassle for making videos when I read the spoiler cards. But I think doing that extra step for people who do videos is, you know, to eliminate paper. I think that's just something you have to do. Um, so we'll see how that goes because I'm going to have to do it this video. So we'll see how that goes. Then we have another little notice in here that says you can subscribe to Enchanter, the original magical subscription magazine. Add some more magic to your life today. Um, and then we got some little ads on the back here. Ooh, I remember in the last video I said I was going to check this out. Um, they do have a separate subscription. I forgot how much it was. It was like $15, I think, something like that. $15, $20, $25, $25 somewhere around there. Um, but... If you're getting the quarterly subscription, which is a special edition box, it's still coming in your box. So if you're getting the box, you don't have to subscribe to this. If you're not, then you can subscribe to this and still get the Enchanter without having, having to get the whole box, which I think is a good idea because 
I don't have to purchase more subscriptions. Um, so I'm good. I'm still getting my things as long as I get the box. Now, finally getting into items. The first thing I see on top looks to be a notebook. So this notebook says password on the front. So, you know, the Gryffindor password and I guess, you know, the back, you get the entrance, I guess, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so password, the lady's not there, but entrance into the Gryffindor common room. And then we've got the door, door on the back. So that's actually really nice. That's cute. Oh my gosh, look at the inside. That is really pretty. Let's see what the pages look like. Oh, it's, it's like an address book kind of. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's like a password book. I need, honestly, my grandma needs this. Um, website, username, password, hints, notes. So you have like a password book to put all your passwords in. Um, I kind of wish it was just a notebook, if I'm being a little honest because I'm not gonna write all my passwords on here because someone finds this and they have all my passwords. So, um, yeah, good idea, but I don't know if it's for me. My grandma would need this, but she has a password book already, I think. It doesn't even use it. <laughs> yeah, cute idea. I love the way this looks. Password, that's cute. That's very cute. It's a cute idea. I like the design of this. I just kind of wish it was a notebook because I'm not gonna use it. Next thing in here is every time I see this symbol, I always say Malfoy Manor. It's not. It's Ministry of Magic. So let's go ahead and open this. So in that box, we got another declaration. This one is number 66. All owls will be examined for messages upon entry to the castle. So got one of those. Um, I haven't been keeping these. I don't know. I just, they're so, I don't know. I just haven't been keeping them. So. I'm either going to give this one away or it'll end up in a Macari shop. Maybe I'll keep a bunch of my Harry Potter stuff that I don't really want and then do a big giveaway once I reach a certain amount of subscribers. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. The next thing in here comes in a little, it's wrapped in brown paper. So let's open this up. Oh. We got a hippogriff door knocker that is so cool look at that so it's metal and it's like this bronzy color um and yeah it's a hippogriff and he's holding a little thing in his mouth i am totally gonna put this on my door not here but whenever i get my own house <laughs> I can't put it on this one, um, but that is so cool. That is so neat. I would have never thought to, I love that. That is a very cool item. Yeah, this is one I will definitely be using whenever I get the chance to, and it came with little screws to screw it in. Um, that is such a cool idea. That's neat. Love that. Next item comes in a brown little, uh, brown, a <laughs> black little velvet bag. And it feels like a pen. <gasps> oh, this is cool. Okay. I love pens. So this one says restricted section. And it's got like a little glass door kind of, but there's hinges here. So it opens up and we've got bookshelf full of books, library of the restricted section. This is a cool pen. I love pens that move. Oh, and then look at that. See, it's like a little glass door. So you see the books behind it. That is such a cool pen. See, there we go again. Show you how it looks. That is so cool. I love that. I, are we going to have movable pens now, Wizarding Trunk? Because our new, our new, a new series of movable pens or something? Because <laughs> I'm not mad about that either. That is so cool. Love that. All right, next item in, this, in here is in a big brown box. Let's open this up. Got some styrofoam, so another breakable item. Whoa, this is creepy. <laughs> um, 
I don't know what this is for. It looks cool and creepy. Like, look at that giant hunchback. So we've got like a witch wizard thing with like a big drapey robe. Um, and this like twisty cane staff pointing. But look at that hunchback, man. So look at that. So we've got this statue. It's winking at you. Um, I don't know what this is, what this is from, but it looks cool. Getting closer to Halloween. That's a cool, like, Halloween display piece. I like some creepy things. And that is the biggest hunchback I think I've ever seen. That is crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is, but if you do enlighten me, maybe the cheat sheet will, but I have to look at the cheat sheet later. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it looks cool and creepy, but I have no clue what it is. <laughs> We've got a big box in here, and this looks like um, hog's head stuff again. So it's probably part of our set, which I think this is the last item in our set, if I'm right. But this is our boar head plate. Look at that. It's white glass or ceramic. I don't know. And it's, oh, that is so pretty. And it's gold. That gold luster. That is so pretty. And you got like a little beer mug and the little flying hog on the side. And then on the back, it says the copper kettle established in 1612. That is so pretty. That's actually a very pretty plate. Wow. This set is so gorgeous. I can't I have to put it all together and see what it looks like all together. That is gorgeous. I love the box it comes in too. That's probably my favorite thing out of the set. That and the cream pour, <laughs> I think. All right, last thing before paper products, we have another unlocking magic. Um, one of the key boxes. Um, this is probably the one of the biggest boxes I've seen for the unlocking magic. Um, I love these boxes. I keep them and put stuff in them and give them as gifts and stuff. Not the key, but the whatever. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this one's cool. Divination Tower. That is cool. So it's this all gold key. Take it out. This one's cool looking. I like this. So we have this one charm here that says Divination Tower. And then we've got a tarot card that says Wheel of Fortune tarot card. So there's the tarot card charm. And then the key says, he and his master shall be reunited. Um, that is cool. And then we've got, oh, it's the crystal ball. To see the snakes, like the crystal ball on top. Um, and it goes down into the, ta the tower car tarot cards, like palm. Um, and then the other crystal ball on the bottom, right? Yeah. Look at that. That is so cool. And then the tower tarot tarot cards. Oh, hand. And then the other little crystal ball, divination ball. That is so neat. I love that. That's a cool looking key. Moving on to paper products. We have our creature page. I think this is our second to last. I think we have one more left. Um, and this is X. So we've got the Xantrix. Is that how you say it? He looks cute. And then the, is X like pronounced Z? I think it's Xantrix and Zildor. Zildor? I don't know. This one. He almost looks like a Dementor. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like a Dementor. So I don't know if that's different from a Dementor or what. I don't know. So this is our creature page X. And then the last things in the box are some art. Ooh, I did read about this, um, about the 
watercolor art artists, the new artists that they're using. These are actually really pretty. So here's this one. I'm trying to think of like where this is. It says castle. Is this supposed to be like herbology? Because the book looks like there's like a mandrake in it or something. I'm either thinking herbology or the Hufflepuff common room, but I think it's herbology. That's really pretty. And then the second one, Uma. the second one, oh, that's cute. You see all the little um, Cornish pixies. <laughs> that one's really pretty. I don't know what this one is either. Oh, there's a vanishing cabinet. Okay, so it's up there. Um, this one's really pretty too. I like all the little tiny Cornish Cornish pixies all over the picture. That's adorable. I actually really like these. So that is everything in our box. Um, and before I get into this cheat sheet, I am going to choose my favorites and my least favorites. So my favorites in the box are our, is our plate for our hog's head and this door knocker I think is really cool. My least favorites are probably the um, declaration and the password book because these are just not things I keep. Um, but other than that, I really love the design of this. So just, I kind of wish it was just a notebook because then I would use it. I'm not going to use a, a password book, but maybe someone else will. But let me know what you thought about this unboxing and let's get into the cheat sheet. <laughs> so the castle. Number one, Candy Passage Witch Statue. The state, I guess it means it's supposed to be statue. The statue that stands watch over the hidden candy passage. If only we knew how to access the passageway. Number two, Head Office Gryffindor Knocker. When visiting the head office, this Gryffindor knocker adorns the door so that you may make yourself known before entering. Number three, restricted section pin. This beautiful interactive pin gives you a glimpse inside the restricted section of the library without the need for a note or a cloak. Number four, common room window print. This watercolor print gives you a look out of the common room that overlooks the greenhouses. We are excited to announce that we will have an exclusive set of four of these amazing common room prints by Giza Wizard World coming in the next bi-monthly boxes. Be sure to subscribe to collect all four in the set. Number five, Divination Tower Key. This key will get you into the trap door that leads to the Divination Tower, where you will have the opportunity to learn all forms of divination. Are you in the beyond? Number six, declaration. It looks like two more declarations have been issued that concern the castle. Which one did you receive? Number seven, creature page. You have now collected the creature page that deals with the Zildor and the Xantrix. The last creature page in this series will be included in the upcoming potion storage room box. Number eight, password book. While we understand that traditionally writing down your password has been frowned upon, we aren't currently aware of any escaped madmen that would want to get inside your email account, so you should be safe. Number 9. Copper Kettle Dessert Plate This plate is what all desserts are served on in the castle and the Copper Kettle Inn and pub. We have a few more items coming in this series. What do you think you'll receive next? Number 10, hidden room print. If you are ever in need of getting rid of something or to just get away, this room would make a great escape inside the castle and there is no telling what you might find inside. And this box's editor's choice is one serious witch on Instagram. Um, that is a really cute name, so I'll have to look that up on Instagram. And next by monthly's theme is a potions storage room. So I'm excited about that. I forgot to make an outro. So here's my outro. I hope you like this video. Uh, I'm going to have to get used to not reading the cheat sheet right away. Uh, but if you like this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.